In this video, we're going to be using Phoenix and Bow IC9, and we're going to be comparing the So Sharp David Edge with my Edge. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And if it's your first time here, thanks and welcome aboard. I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned before, today we're going to be using the Phoenix and Bow IC9, and I think that's how it's pronounced. I did look it up. But oftentimes when I look up the pronunciation or pronunciation of some of these terms, even that's wrong on the internet. So, you know, if I'm wrong, I apologize. And this, I think, is to mean a tribe of folks uh, on the eastern coast of England dating back to the Iron Age. And this is a phoenix and bow, again so. The scent on this is mild, but it's very, very pleasant. It doesn't pop for me. But the scent I do get is uh, pleasant. It is citrus, musk, and resin. Comes at a pretty good price considering considering this is $15.99 for four ounces. That's $3.99 an ounce, which is a good price. Also, considering this is coming all the way to the United States from the UK, I think that's a pretty good price. There's some good ingredients in here. We have, I'll show it, show you the ingredients, but some of the um, elements that I like are lanolin, shea butter, really, really nice. And I like that bottom label that, that Phoenix and Bow puts on there. So it's really, really nice. So as mentioned before, we're also going to compare edges. The Gold Dollar 66 here has been honed by So Sharp David, and I've used it once, and I like the edge. Uh, he honed it on the codical, and my edge is an Izuko edge. It is the Gold Dollar 300. So we'll sort of split our face and just see how these go, and if my edge is ready, I will send it to So Sharp David so he can try it. Okay, so let's get going. I'm gonna wet the face today, and I bought another sprayer simply because I needed one for honing. I got tired of taking my one out of the, the uh, bathroom <laughs> for uh, that I use for shaving and you know moving it back and forth, so I bought another one, another one, and we're trying that one. That one is a continuous sprayer, and we'll see how I like it. I expect to have Good results from this Phoenix and Bow. The brush, by the way, is the Omega Evo. And this one was kindly given to me by Reds. And most of you know Reds. Great channel. He hasn't been doing a lot of videos recently, but Reds is a decent uh, gent. Anyway, applying the lather here to the face. And I'm looking forward to testing these edges. And I'll start with mine on one side and then use David's on the other. The Phoenix and Bow Lather here, no problems at all with that. Uh, I have used it one time before, and uh, I enjoyed it, and I expect to enjoy this as well. Just trying to paint this on here. The scent to me, again, it doesn't pop. It's sort of subdued, but it's pleasant in its own right. It's not one that I would go crazy over, but it's got this pleasant sort of vibe to it that I cannot explain that I kind of like, and so let's get some things out of the way here so we can cut that back. Uh, we're working on our normal 24 hour growth, and someone mentioned in a comment the other day, don't you get tired of shaving every day? No, <laughs> I'm a shaving hobbyist. I enjoy shaving, and why would I get tired of it? I mean, that's we put a lot of effort into acquiring all these products, and and we want to enjoy them. So this is the Gold Dollar 300, which I have honed. And let's see how it feels. Feels nice so far. So one of the things I changed in the honing of this razor is that I, uh, so I took it down my normal Shaptons and then I finished with the slurry on the Izuku. And then after that, I used some Dawn, which we heard about from uh, Doug Bear. And just put sort of a light layer of Dawn on the Izuku. And then just worked it a little more. Just dropped in between the regular slurry work and the Dawn work. And this feels pretty good. At least with on the width grain pass, I am happy with that edge. I think that feels great. So now we will rinse that off 
dry the blade off. This might take me a little longer because I'm having to switch. So I apologize if this goes a little longer, but it's for shaving science. <laughs> so let's set that aside all the way. Now let's go to the Gold Dollar 66, which is honed by So Sharp David. And I like this edge the first time I use it. And I expect to again today. And that feels nice also. Hmm. It's really hard to say. In my head, in my head, I think I'm feeling that the my Zuku is cutting a little bit easier, but both of them are smooth and comfortable. And so at the end of this shave, if I feel my edge is ready, I'll send it to David and get his take. Because let's let's be honest, we're probably biased. We put work into these homes, and we're proud of our work. And so I'm probably a little biased. <laughs> but this so sharp edge. I'm liking too. And with the grain pass, it's feeling nice also. This is a codical edge, codical, however you want to say that. Okay, so that first pass, slightly, 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 preferring my edge. But again, both are smooth and comfortable, and I'd be happy to shave with either one. So let's. Let's uh, get some misting action here. Sort of pull some of that lather down. What I do is just pull some of that lather that's in the goatee there and just sort of rub it around on the face. No use in, no use in that going to waste as far as I'm concerned. Wiping my hands off and then we'll lather up for past two. The soap performed well. Phoenix and Bow, especially considering the price you can get it for in the U.S., um, Sold at West Coast Shaving and maybe other, you know, retailers as well. Uh, probably is. Um, it's really hard to get a soap all the way from the UK that is priced this well. I think you can get things like Wickham priced well too. But this is a pretty good price, you know, considering it's coming all the way from the UK. And uh, honestly, I put too much water in this lather. That's why it looks a little thin, but... That is me, it is not the soap because I over watered it to start with. I really filled the tub with too much water and so it's a little on the thin, you know, it looks a little thin, but I tell you right now, it's plenty slick enough and it will get the job done. So you can see there, there's plenty of it, but it's not super dense. That is me, not the soap to be clear. Cause I don't ever wanna, if I know that I, you know, sort of over hydrated at the beginning. I never want to lead you to believe it's the soap that's not producing a show lather, but honestly, it makes no difference. It makes no difference whatsoever. As long as your lather works, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Okay, this time we will start with, we'll switch sides. Start with So Sharp David's Edge on this side. You can hear that feedback. Very nice. Feeling very nice so far. I'm telling you, David's done a good job with his honing here. That's a comfortable, smooth edge. And for me, that's what I want. I want comfort, you know, when you're using a straight razor because it's open blade. What's the blade gap on this? 100%. <laughs> What's the blade exposure? 100%. So, when you're used to using these straight razors, nothing else is going to feel menacing once you're used to them, I think. Feeling good, though. And you can hear that feedback. I tell you, folks, if you're just starting with straight razors, you just have to keep plugging. Don't be discouraged early on because everybody gets discouraged early on. And I was discouraged early on when I was, you know, cutting myself. And you're going to cut yourself some and you're going to cut yourself even once you're experienced every now and then. It's just the way it happens. But try not to get discouraged. And keep plugging. 
I'm uh, cutting my Dr. Matt cloth here. All right, so nice, nice edge, David, on the gold dollar 56. Um, very nice, very smooth, comfortable. And again, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So now let's go to my edge on the gold dollar 300 and see how it feels. The soap is working great. I know I haven't spoken much about it, but very pleasant scent, but it's not what I was, the scent is not what I thought it would be, but for some reason I like it and I'm not sure why. <laughs> okay, let's see. Very nice also. You can hear that feedback. I want to say that this edge is um, moving. It's flowing through slightly. We're not talking about by much. Moving through maybe a little bit easier, but again, it's really hard to say because, you know, it's my edge and also I'm used to my edges because I've been shaving with them. You can definitely hear these blades doing their work. I really like these hollow grinds for that reason. it's There's something enjoyable about it. So, man, I'm happy with this edge too. I think this one, I think this one is ready to be sent to, to David. So I will get this out to him later in the week. But I didn't want to send him one where I felt the edge was, was bad. You know, is this my best edge that I'm ever capable of producing? Surely not, but it feels pretty good. And so I'm satisfied enough with it that I feel I can let David try my edge. I know Marin asked me before, but it was when I was still, you know, tooling around and I think I'm getting to the point now where, you know, I am by no means a proficient or professional honer, but um, on a gold dollar, you know, I will uh, send Marion one sometime after I hone a few more and continue to try to grow and let him try my edge. But you know, when you're new, you shouldn't expect perfection. You should just try to get better with every edge and that's what I'm trying to do. I will say, I think I like this uh, using the Dawn. Um, for me, I think it makes the edge a little, I don't know, it feels like it's got a little extra zip to me, but it's just me. It could be totally in my head, you know. There's always that possibility, but it feels good, and that's the main thing. All right. Again, not a show lather here, but this is a nice soap, I think, uh, all the same. If you've never tried Phoenix and Bow and you're considering it, I don't think you're going to have any quality, but you see the shave, you know. How is the shave going? That's how we measure. It's not by the show, you know, <laughs> how a lather looks but rather how's that blade gliding across the skin. And I know some people talk about protection and all those things, and they may be onto something. I heard Jack from the virtual groom room mention it yesterday. He said he calls BS on people who say there isn't protection and stuff, but to me, there's no amount of protection that's gonna protect you from bad technique. And so the protection comes from here and here. That's where protection comes from because these blades are sharp and if you make a misstep, you're going to cut yourself. And I personally do not believe a soap gives you quarter. Um, you know, it, assuming there's a base level of slickness, let's let's say that. Again, we'll start with So Sharp David. Um, let's just assume we have a an adequate level of slick, slickness, let's say. Beyond that, assuming that your slickness is good, I don't know that you're gonna get, this is, you know, obviously opinion, but I don't want a barrier that's holding the razor off my face. I'm trying to get a close shave. I don't want a thick barrier is what I'm trying to say. You can't get close if you have a thick barrier or it's difficult to get close. I mean, in theory, but honestly, this is steel. It's going through, you know, soap isn't gonna stop the steel. 
And I don't care if I feel this room entirely full of lather. <laughs> if I drop this straight razor through it, it's going through it. Slow it down, maybe. And so maybe you get some protection there, maybe, you know. But I don't think it's going to afford you a ton, is what, what I'm trying to say here is. Don't depend on the soap as a crutch. Learn to, you know, mechanically shave better and you won't have to worry about it. That, that's, I think, the point I'm making is it, again, technique will trump everything. It's not everything, but it'll trump everything, ultimately. Okay, that felt nice and smooth. Again, so sharp David's edge. Very nice. At this point, there's not much left. As you can hear there, you know, we're not getting much. But we do that final cleanup. But I tell you right now, these edges were both very nice and, and pleasant to shave with. And if you're enjoying straight razors, you will enjoy your own edges even more. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes patience. You will not master it overnight. I have not mastered it. But I'm now producing enjoyable edges. And uh, that has taken my appreciation to another level of the hobby. And so it's just sort of that next step. And so if you're thinking about honing, you know, jump on in. There's a lot of guys doing it now. We've had the benefit of hearing a lot of great, um, hearing from and learning from a lot of great honers. And so this, uh, this will sort of take you to the next level of the hobby, I think. When you start producing your own edges, it will just bring a tremendous amount of enjoyment. Or at least it does for me. The edgegasm, as it were. <laughs> All right, that was an outstanding shave. Two really, really decent blades from novice honers. I mean, I'm proud of both my edge and David's. And honestly, I would shave with either one. I think they're both very, very enjoyable. Um, let me rinse, we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back here with the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel, which you see every day. Boy, that was a really enjoyable shave. Really enjoyable. And of course, off cam, once again, we used our PAA Allen Block with Dry Dock. Almost no stinging, so it was a really smooth, shave um, the verdict on these edges. I think I'm more comfortable with my own edge because it's my edge and I'm used to it. But both edges produced a really nice shave. I think I'm ready to send this one to David and I'll keep the gold dollar 66 and I will hone that one up myself and put another one of my edges on it. But I've really enjoyed using David's edge. Great job, David. The soap, we use the Phoenix and Bow I, uh, I see nigh, I think it is, and uh, it was nice. Very pleasant. There's no reason to avoid Phoenix and Bow soaps if you've never used them before. Affordable, even uh, coming all the way from the UK. Good quality. I enjoyed it. The scent doesn't pop, but it was still enjoyable for me, so I'd call it enjoyable. I'm going to close out today with, uh, this is Declaration Bandwagon, which was sent to me by my buddy Chris Garcia. Thank you, Chris. It's here, so I'm just going to use more of it and it smells great, I think. So we're gonna have a great Wednesday. Oh man, nothing like shaving with your own edges and a good friend's edge. Just puts you in a great mood. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I've been your host CDB and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way and as always, God bless.